ready. Maybe we'll get the rematch. We'll sort it out somewhere else. Well, this is it. Everything for a reason. He didn't want to take this fight, but he's been forced to take this fight. I think that's round one to me. Sky Sports box office and Wembley Stadium, it doesn't get any bigger than that. So to be given this opportunity, I'm sure George Groves feels exactly the same. It's a wonderful opportunity that we have to take with both hands. I've had an unbelievable break. I've had some bonding time with my baby girl. I've spent some family time. I've been at home changing nappies and night feeds. Let me tell you, that's overrated, but I've enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I've missed the gym. I've missed boxing. <coughs> I've missed hitting the bag, I've missed listening to Rob and, you know, working hard on the, on the road run. And that's, that's bad news for George Groves. Alright guys, thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you, George. Face to face. Be good. <laughs> oh, hold up. Hold up. What? Hold up. Who's talking to you, sweetheart? You're in that boy on the night. You'll see. You're in a world of trouble. You was lucky that night. Very, very lucky. Oh, you touched me again. Yeah. You know, it's not on. You need to confide with your man. Right. You know that. You can't let him push him. It's okay. How many fights you had? You don't know anything about it, have you? What? You don't know anything about it, have you? About what? About what? About what? You don't know how to handle me again. What? What if again? What if and again? Hold it down. You can't do that. Who has it? He will not even have to push it. How many times have you done that? Push it together. Well, sort your boy out. Don't go on the pit. <laughs> I'm just wondering, are we possibly going to get a handshake out of you two guys? I asked him a handshake at the first press conference. He turned his back on me. I'm asking, that you? was a long time ago, George. Come on, let's no, move the, on. All right, how long ago? Let's four weeks on. ago? The, the press conference yeah, at Wembley? four weeks, a long time. Ooh, 28 we days. Are yeah. going to get a handshake, boys? You want to? A handshake or not? Would I'll you like to shake my hand. hand? I'll shake your hand. Yeah. Hey. How <laughs> oh, good. Hey, have we moved forward? Thanks to our audience. Packed to the rafters here, as it will be, with 80,000 plus at Wembley Stadium on May the 31st. <laughs> Boys, finally, we got a shake of her hands on uh, ringside. This has been a little tense. Do we get a shake of his hands here? Would you like to shake my hand? I'd love to shake your hand. You'd love to. <laughs> been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, him. pleasure to you too, mate. What are you doing? We can, all, we, can all, we can all pull about a little bit. Do you want to pull about? Have a little pull and a push. This is like queuing up for the Boxing Day sales, but these guys aren't here for a bargain, they're here for a fight. The biggest ever domestic fight on these shores. <laughs> Knocking out first round, first round. <laughs> knockout power just like myself from With Dublin. The left hook. <laughs> uh, left hook, sorry. <laughs> and the new! And the new! Foch, better defensive work this time, better technique. Bomber cracking's got it, it's all good. Carl Froch has also been banging on about he had a bad training camp. I was discussing with my friend, you know, um, that he didn't prep first last time. But the thing is, Groves has also split with his trainer mid camp last time, had lies and all that, yep. but he hasn't banged on about yep. it. 
Do you get me? So that's all the smoke screen yep. from Carl Froch. Too many uh, excuses from too Carl many Froch. Too many excuses. Andre Durrell excuses. Yeah. Jermaine Not Taylor Andre excuses. Durrell, that was Mikel rock Kessler rock excuses. Rock the excuses are coming to yeah. an end. Carl Froch is going to get beat. Carl Froch, Carl Froch is going to get, get beat. beat. Very good afternoon from Wembley Arena. This is the stage where later on we'll be seeing Carl Froch and George Groves weighing in ahead of the IBF and WBA world titles being up for grabs at Wembley Stadium. These are the scales that the two men will be stepping on a little bit later on. You know you was my fighter back in the day. You know I grew up watching you doing it. Yeah, of course. I know, I know that. All right, nice to see you. Good, man. That's nice, man. Your groves, think about what you say. It's tricky, it's tricky. I'm gonna say draw. Draw! <laughs> Hailing from Hammersmith, London. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Sir Face to face, boys. Keep it clean. Mics are on. Hey, out of shot. 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 This is going to be fun, boys. Let's do it tomorrow night. Let's do it in front of 80,000. Let's do it in front of 80,000 tomorrow night. Come on, boys. creating history. The main event is one that's gripped the nation. It's a pro-Groves house. That dislike will never disappear. It's up to the fighters to remain composed. It's got everything to make this a rematch like Ben Eubank. The competition is really all about psychology. George Groves had the, the tools to be... People will remember this day for the rest of their life. We haven't a clue what's going to happen and everyone's looking forward to it. <laughs> Come on, Georgie, baby! Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Boom! Go on, Frotch. Go on, George. <laughs> Team Frotch, all day. A 
massive, mate. Right? And that's the man of the massive. Lovely, mate. Flex. Yes, mate. Long time. Can you see you everywhere? Probably getting all the way. How you doing, boy? Good, right? Lovely, isn't it? Really, nice, really, really There's only 10,000 out there and it sounds like the modern day Colosseum, you know, proper gladiator days. The noise I heard, only from 10,000 people, it sounds atmospheric. I can only imagine what it's going to sound like when there's 80,000, but no, it's, it's cheered me up actually going out there and having a look. I'm really, really looking forward to getting out there. Final question and this will be the last time we hear from you. What's your final prediction, Carl? If he comes, he's going early. If he runs, he's going late. That's the prediction, but I'm going to win by knockout. Seconds. Uh, you've been super calm all the way through the build-up. How are you feeling now? You're here. I'm feeling pretty calm. You came down earlier to have a look around. Has that helped? It's a fantastic, fantastic place to box. Sure, it was good to come down and soak some of it up, but it's going to be nothing compared to what it's going to be like in two hours. Since I've got here, I mean, what a buzz. I mean, uh, you know, uh, in my lifetime, to be fair, I mean, this is a moment. I'm just honoured to be here, to be honest. If I had to push you, who do you think will win? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think Froch maybe might stop him. If he comes out with straight shots, he's going to do very well. If he comes swinging, George is going to clip him. If you have to push me, I would say Carl. Uh, if Groves loses, I will be gutted. I ain't going to lie. Thanks, Danny. Enjoy the fight. And you, sweetheart.
I'm going to win by knockout. So this is it. If you like to shake my hand. Everything for a reason. Yeah. That's round one to me. Yeah. It will be the left hook that finishes Carl Fudge. Thank you, Joe. We went in believing, now we go in knowing. Whoever's in front of me, they're going to feel the force. I'm calm because that's how I have to be to fight. I'm emotionless. I will beat George Groves inside 12 rounds, without question. I wish him the very best. He's certainly going to need it. I've got the frame of mind of a champion and a winner. He's in for a massive shock. Massive, massive shock. George is going to find out the hard way what it's like in the fight business at the top, top level. I know that I can beat for hand speed, foot speed, and I can hurt him. I would not call for a child May 31st. I win the fight. I win the fight inside the distance. It's as simple as that. I'm feeling unbelievably elated. This is the best moment in the history of my boxing career. My little boy rocker, my baby girl Natalia, they'll look back and say, that was my daddy in there.